The blast killed at least nine people and injured several thousand others, including Iran's ambassador to Lebanon. We want to warn you, some of the video you are about to see is disturbing. It was an attack the likes of which we have never seen before. Hundreds of handheld pages exploded nearly simultaneously across Lebanon and in parts of Syria. What we know is about 2,800, that number could go up, of these people who were injured were standing around people who were wearing these pagers. A man in a supermarket is targeted. He goes down after the pager in his bag or on his belt goes off. The people around him were not injured. The man on the left in the yellow, he checks his pager seconds before it blows up and he goes down. A Hezbollah official says a new brand of handheld pages used by the group first heated up and then exploded. What we use is a pager. This is something Hezbollah started doing because they believe their phones had been compromised in terms of interception by Israeli intelligence. So this was a way to communicate, they thought, securely. Hezbollah leaders blame Israel for the attack. Yesterday, Israel Eve Mitchell said they were considering ramping up their attack against Hezbollah because the group has been firing rockets into Israel in support of Gaza and the war. Israel responded to the news. IT was a remarkable achievement, if it was Israel. It is about time they pay for what they have done and what they are doing at the border. Reporter, others feared the operation would put hostages in more danger. Personally, I am afraid. I want the hostages to come back as fast as possible. This kind of attack only furthers them coming back to U.S.